Hello and welcome. I am standing on my roof to set up this antenna and try to pick up weather satellites. Record and process the signal from NOAA and get weather map directly from the satellite. This is a well-known project I have been procrastinating about for far too long. In the summer of 2020, I used software-defined radio to listen to noise from space using a 6-foot dish, a low-noise amplifier, and a computer. A similar setup can be used to compare man-made signal from our radio surrounding. So I made a simple antenna from two 53.4 centimeters long steel wires angled at 120 degrees, a PVC pipe, and uh, some cables. All the details can be found here, link in the description. The coax cable links the antenna to my SDR and it connects to the computer. I use the SDR Play RSP1A, but you can use any of the many choices available nowadays. Same goes for the software, SDR Sharp, SDR Console, SDR Uno, HD SDR, etc, etc. All will work as long as they're compatible. All the details are easily found on YouTube, Reddit, and there's many websites for help and support. The WX to IMG software helps finding the uh, time of passes over your area. And I must say, it is pretty damn good and accurate. You can also download the app look for sat on your phone. It's convenient and give you a radar trace, distance and Doppler frequency shift. Very handy and useful. Here is NOAA 15 approaching from the south, become invisible from my position. When the signal is strong enough, I start the sound recording with Audacity. When the pass is over, I uh, resample the recording rate to 11,025 Hz and save the files as a WAV format. The WX to IMG software also allows you to decode the image from your previously recorded sound. The image can be shifted due to the Doppler effect of a moving source and the image slant option is there to fix that. The whole process is very simple and anyone can do it from just about anywhere on earth. The main problem I struggled with was the constant noise and finding the source is often difficult to pinpoint. Changing cables that can act like an antenna, shielding radio and grounding antenna are all good options to try. I find that if uh, the signal to noise ratio does not exceed 20 dB, there is no point processing the image at all. NOAA satellite broadcast at 137 megahertz and the signal is not weak. I was able to pick it up with this uh, handheld radio. After many failures, I slowly started to get uh, decent results and over time, I realized my antenna is doing far better when the satellite passes directly overhead. Now, repeating what others have done far better and uh, many times before is boring. So I try to bring something new and interesting to a project. Many others have mentioned the Doppler effect I talked about earlier, but uh, there is more information in the signal. We can calculate the speed and distance of the satellite relative to us, the observer. When the satellite first appears on the radio spectrum, the main component is offset and migrate to higher frequency as the satellite approaches, and then to lower frequency as the satellite moves away from us. You can hear the difference using the sideband modulation. This difference can be measured very simply. The beginning frequency is recorded here. This is NOAA 18 at 137.9125 MHz, but received at 137.915726. And by the end of the transit, the frequency is now 137 MHz, 910.748. The difference is 4,878 Hz, or just about 5 kHz. Using the Doppler shift equation and this online calculator, the resulting speed is then calculated to be minus 25,244.9 meters per second. The minus sign is indicating the satellite is moving away from our location, but that's 7.012 kilometers per second. The actual value is 26,700 kilometers per hour or 7.41 meters per second. Okay, cool. A direct overhead pass would be about 12 minutes long. So let's uh, use this number, 12 minutes. Now that we know the speed, we can compare it with the uh, time duration of visibility and calculate the total distance covered during visibility. 7.012 times 60 for minutes times 12 equal 5,048.64 kilometers or 3,155.4 miles. Using simple geometry and assuming the Earth is round, we can calculate the distance from us or orbiting altitude. Using radian, this equation becomes distance covered 
5048 divided by pi divided by 2 equal the distance L. And we get 803 kilometers. The known average altitude of NOAA 18 is 860 kilometers. Providing a reliable data source, we can get valuable information from a single data point. But don't take my word for it. Do it yourself and be a nerd too. Anyway, I thought this was a pretty interesting and worth a few minutes of your time. Thanks for watching. Damn it!